here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap's inspired by all things fantasy and magical and castles and unicorns. If you guys saw back in the summer, I did a um, sandcastle soap. And the mold that I got to do the castles, I had made look like sandcastles, but I thought, you know, I have to make a soap with actual castles on it, like stone castles. And so it's taken me a while to come up with the rest of this design, but I think I'm ready to go. Um, mixing together my oils and my life solution here. Gonna get it to a light trace and split this off into a couple different colors. Three colors I'm going to split this off into. I thought they were very majestic. This is a swamp thing color by uh, yep, Soapbox Micas, they don't exist anymore, spit it out. <laughs> and this one is some Maya Gold Mica by Nurture. Just a little accent of that. And then the main color I'm going to do is, no, you know what, I think the green's going to be the main color. Alright, this is some Climb Blue by Nurture, and then I'm going to pour the rest of it into the green and scrape this out. I didn't think I would like this square container. I thought it would be a lot harder to scrape out, you know, with all the corners and everything compared to the round container I was using, but you know, I, I'm wrong. I actually like scraping this out a lot better, and it's, I'm going to even say, probably a lot easier to do. <laughs> In addition to that Klein Blue that I have in this bucket over here, I'm going to add just a little bit of Blue Oxide to it as well, hoping to darken it up a little. Let's mix those all together. Alright, the fragrance I'm using, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. This is called Merlin's Path. It's a fragrance oil by a company called Sunshine Crafts and Creations, and I got it off of a soap supply D stash group on Facebook. I have no idea what the notes are, I have no idea how it behaves, I don't think the um, store is even in business anymore, they've probably closed down, because I can't find anything online, so I have no idea how this fragrance is going to behave. Um, yeah, you guys, like I said, are thinking I'm crazy. Why would I take such a risk? I have no idea. I just saw Merlin's Path on there, and of course, it was just like, okay, that is perfect. I need that. And, yeah, I just like the mystery of it, I guess. Who knows if this is going to turn out. It has 2.8% Vanillin in it, which means it will probably discolor. I'm thinking that number is not going to be, you know, a dark brown discoloration. I've tried googling it. I haven't been able to find anything. It does smell like incense, like powdery, amber maybe in there, and the little rose. It is something that I would like to smell like. It is totally something I would wear. But do I know the exact notes in it? I don't. If I find out, I will post them in the description box. I've contacted the company and hopefully they get back to me with something. Otherwise, it is just a mystery. So far it's not rising and it looks like it's behaving well, so let's get the molds over here before it decides to change its mind. Okay, let's see if we can just get a drop swirl going here. When I first started making soap, I tried to make a Merlin inspired soap with a Merlin's Forest by Fragrance Buddy, not knowing too much about rising or um, discoloration, I ended up with a very brown riced soap. <laughs> Am I going to have a repeat of that? Well, if I do, at least I know it was my own doing. But I think it smells really good, and to me, I'm just so practical. When I see a name like that, and it makes sense, and I just have to do it. <laughs> it does look like it is accelerating a little bit, but nothing that I can't work with. So I'm just going to go about pouring this in and making a pretty drop swirl pattern hopefully and I'll show you what's going on top of this. All 
Alright, I got a Wilton 8B on here to make some dollops. I want this to look like little green mounds of grass, and you'll see why in a moment. I would definitely label that fragrance as badly behaved. It did accelerate on me, and therefore I did not do the drop swirl that I intended. As you can see I ran a hanger swirl through it. I'm sure it's going to be very pretty still if those colors don't darken up on me too much. The Merlin, Merlin's Forest fragrance that I used years and years ago had like 7% vanillin in it. So that made sense. Um, really crossing my fingers on this soap and I can only blame myself if it doesn't turn out. Um, but it does smell really good, so. I like good surprises, right? <laughs> I also like anything medieval or renaissance, I'm really big into all that stuff. I love to dress up and go to the renaissance festival if you didn't know that already. Um, anything fairies or unicorns or castles and dragons, I don't know why that appeals to me so much. Um, we just <laughs> recently started watching a show called The King on Netflix and it's one of those period dramas about, I think it was King Henry V. And uh, I don't know my Roman numerals, perhaps. And it is, it is good. Sh it is a good show, but it's like one of those things where I really have to be in the mood to watch a period drama. Sometimes they can just be very boring. At the same time, it's just like, oh my god, this is way too bloody and stressful. But we have been watching it, and it's like really long episodes. So I haven't finished it yet. Um, I am really, really into anything that has, you know, magic in it or any type of mythology. So I am really big into the his historical, you know, shows and stuff, but I, I really, really like shows like The Witcher. I want to throw that out there because I am interested in making a Witcher soap. If anyone is interested in that, let me know because I, I kind of really want to do it, but if there, there isn't that big of enough of a fan base for it, it probably wouldn't make any sense for me to do it. Uh, if you haven't watched it, it is a really good show, mainly because Henry Cavill is in it and OMG, I'd watch it for him alone. I think he's like the biggest crush right now, who's Jason Momoa, and <laughs> he, he wins. Henry Cavill wins. Um, and it's just very confusing, but it has all the elements that I like in fantasy and medieval and sword fighting and magic and all that kind of stuff. So drawing inspiration from all of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to put on the rest of these little dollops and I'm not going to put that third layer on top of here because my in bed are these little castles. Aren't they cute? Um, I did these as sand castles before, but I just colored them gray, and I'm going to stick them on top. I also want to note that this green, it stays pretty nice looking, and I'm thinking, because most of the time, greens turn a funky color. I think this is going to stay this color. I mixed together some of that swamp thing and Nurture Soap Celadon Green, because I don't want it like too bright or it won't match the bottom of the soap, but I still want it to look like grassy knolls or hills. Um, and hopefully it stays this color because I really like it. Another show I am excited about watching is going to be the new Outlander series. I really, really like to read, and so I have read most of the Outlander books. I try to keep up with the show, so if season five comes out, I'm reading book five. So that's definitely another show to watch. I think there's a few seasons on Netflix if you guys haven't watched that. Another historical but also fantasy type of show, uh, the character of Jamie Fraser. another reason why to watch the show. <laughs> there's a theme here. Um, really, really, really like the books by Diana Gabaldon. She is such a good writer. Perhaps I'll get around to making a Outlander soap one day. Design hasn't quite come to me, but I know I want to. I know I want to make one. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all the shows that I'm watching right now. Like Game of Thrones. You guys know I'm a really big fan of Game of Thrones, and I've done lots of soaps based off of that. All right, now let's get our castles on here. And that is all that's going to go on the top. Of course, I'm going to add some glitter to it. And then once I cut these bars, I have some unicorns 
that I want to put on the front that are also made out of melt and pour. Yep, yep, I like this soap. It's coming together nicely. And then I will give this a spray with rubbing alcohol. As usual, I will let this sit for 24 hours and come back and unmold it and cross my fingers that everything is okay. <laughs> I think I want to read the Witcher books eventually too. There are so many books that I want to read. Like more, I have more books probably in my bookshelf than I have probably read. <laughs> I'm a book collector. I hoard books, um, but you know, there's a good series out there and they make a TV show out of it. I am all about reading the books as well, so maybe I will like those. All right, I think that is good, except there is a missing castle. <laughs> that Edgar won't have one. So I did hurry up and pour up some more melt and pour into a little castle mold and shove it in the freezer hoping that I can get it on here before it hardens up. Eco rainbow glitter from Brambleberry being sprinkled on here. And that is all that is going on top of this soap. I think, unless something else comes to mind. <laughs> oh no, that's just too plain for me, so dug around a little bit and these gold bursts and beads you guys have seen me use these a million times I'm gonna have to get some more because I'm running low here and I will probably cry when they're all gone I use them so much I don't know I thought it needed a little more gold on top of it or on it because it's inside of it gold as in I don't know king's gold or maybe it'll just look like little golden flowers on on the grass. <laughs> it was just way too plain for me. It was killing me. Got Bradley the cameraman back in here for this one. It's been a while. It has been a while. All right. I have no idea how the inside of the soap is going to turn out. I don't have gr the greatest expectations for it because the fragrance acted up. Cutting off the end piece here might reveal a little bit of what's on the Ooh. inside. It smells here smell. Mm. Quite it's, nice. It's not, I have no idea what the notes are. It smells very familiar. Like maybe it's a, a dupe of like this, that Merlin. So yeah, yeah. Before. Actually, it smells that very does remind similar. me of the Merlin soup. Yeah. It, it might even be the same thing. Ooh, I like those swirls. Look at that. Those are very regal colors in there. What do you think? Mm. These castles are really, really high. They are. They might like cause some issues as I go on here, but I love those swirls. I am not mad at this. This kind of reminds me of like what a wallpaper might look like in some medieval Renaissance themed room. I like it. I like the little castle on top. Bradley and I have been in the castle. Actually, we've been in a couple castles. <laughs> Anyone else been in some castles? Like real castles. We've been to Ireland, so of course we visited some castles. We've done uh, the right. Blarney. The Blarney, Blarney castle. castle. You yeah. kissed the Blarney stone. Yep. I did not. Tasted I, like cherry chapstick. That's gross. So, um... He experienced that. I refused to. What else? We, yeah, Bun Ratty Castle. That was a lot of fun. Bun so Ratty you Castle. can actually go and have a medieval feast at Bun Ratty Castle, and there's like actors there that sing to you and play harps for you. And it's also huge. It is. It's it really is big. massive. Yeah. That was really really cool. So if anyone wants to go to Ireland, I highly suggest that. They had like an old medieval village yeah. that surrounded the castle. It was off season for us, so it wasn't all in working order, but it was still neat to walk around and walk into like the old that's good on my nerves. <laughs> walk into like the old um, cottages that they build up with a burning peat fire in it. That's where I, I learned that I love the smell of burning peat. <laughs> to shame. Oh, no. Because knock you down your castle at the top there, kid. There we go. It's a siege. It's a siege. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it, I like it! Mm. The smell of peat moss and, and the taste of peat and scotch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We love peaty whiskeys or scotches, whatever. They're the same thing, right? It's yeah, pretty much. A Scottish whiskey is called a scotch. Scotch. And we like them. They taste like dirt. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're interested in buying the soap, it will be available on February 21st. New to the channel and you enjoyed watching, please subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later. Let's get an up close look at this. Yeah, let's look at this one. This one has pretty swirls. I like the swirls on this one. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh, we gotta put the unicorns on. <clears throat> what are you doing? What am I doing? We're gonna put these little unicorns on the front of it. Like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's do that. You're silly.